The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Remember when Barack Obama was supposedly palling around with terrorists? I remember a very bright, smart, logical choice for vice president named Sarah Palin saying that. Do you remember that, Lewis? I do, very clearly. Well, we seem to now have evidence that the Romneys are palling around with birthers, not just Donald Trump, who recently heard of, uh, held a fundraiser involving Ann Romney at one of the Trump buildings in New York City, but also some of the attendees. This is really great. Um, Donald Trump and Melania Trump hosted a birthday celebration at their Trump Tower for Ann Romney. And the Women for Romney event required $1,000 per person contribution to the Mitt Romney presidential campaign. So these are not the biggest donors, Lewis, but they're certainly not these $5 donors, as you claim to have been of Barack Obama's in 2008. It wasn't five. I don't think you can do five, can you? I think you can. What really? did you do, 10, 20? I don't remember. It was more than five. We know it was less than what needed to be reported because we found no record of that donation, ladies and gentlemen. Don't they all have to be reported? I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. I think if you give cash and it's under 50 bucks, you might not have to. Okay. In any event, we have video from the Huffington Post talking to some of the individuals going in, and it turns out, Lewis, that some of them seem to believe the birther nonsense. Some of the... Uh, $1,000 Romney supporters, well, I mean, let's be honest, the people hosting the event, Donald Trump, he's also a birther. But here's some of that audio and video. Take a look. It's, it's quite shocking. Your thoughts on the matter? Um, I've, I've heard from a number of people okay. that the citizenship is questioned, including people... Do you believe it's questionable? I'm not going to answer that question. You really okay. think it's ambiguous? He's presented the birth certificate. Uh, have you seen it? Yes, I've seen it. I mean, I haven't held it in my hands. Uh, with all okay, so there's one birther at the Romney event. And then let's go to another one here, Lewis, if I may, which is uh, maybe even more compelling than that first one. Here we go. What I had is, uh, this is obviously being held at the residence of Melania and Donald Trump. Do you think it's problematic that he's questioned something that's pretty much not in dispute, the president's citizenship? I don't know. I've seen a, I've seen a lot of uh, things. I mean, the, the press has never properly vetted Obama. <laughs> how, do you, how do you think that? I, I tell you, I, I am a little housewife. I'm a retired teacher from Houston. I did my own vetting. I called Reverend Wright's church. I looked at his website. It was very, very violent and anti-white and I said I'm Muslim but I'm interested in joining your church they told me okay so uh, this woman carrying on an investigation of her own apparently concurrent investigations going on by birthers so uh, what do you what do you think of this I mean there there th there's just a lot of birthers involved in supporting Mitt Romney well who else are they going to support <laughs> I guess that's a good point. Yeah, they, they're, they're not going to support Obama. Are they? No, that's they for sure. They think he was born somewhere else. Yeah, but Romney's dad was born in Mexico. What, what's your reaction to this stuff, Natad? I mean, why isn't a bigger deal being made about this? It just seems like it's so. If if the situation were reversed, it would be insanity, uh, literally from c crying from the right. But it's just kind of normal. Donald Trump hosts the fundraiser. He's a birther. Birthers are donating a thousand bucks and flying into New York and hanging out with with Ann Romney. And it's just kind of it's, it's what it is. Nobody cares. Yeah. I mean, the birther argument, uh, if you can call it an argument, you know, doesn't even require a response. It's ridiculous. No, but, no. But, but the, I, know, I know. I know. But uh, I mean, in terms of Romney, I'm assuming if you asked him in a, in a 60 minutes interview, what he thinks about this, he would give the same answer John McCain gave, which is that, you know, there are fringe elements everywhere in every party but the reality is that most of the fringe elements that you know think crazy things like this are on the right it, there's no question right lewis i mean we we have these even with ted nugent which we'll get to we had romney's campaign basically saying divisive language is bad and it's kind of like you know there are more important things to focus on than the president's citizenship we hear a lot of that kind of equivocation where you're not really saying it's a non-issue you're just saying you can think of other things that are more important to talk about. Yeah, and on one hand, it's quasi-political posturing where you, you still want to keep the birthers on your side. <laughs> exactly. But, but uh, you made a good point. Where else are they going to go? There is nowhere else. You Maybe. either vote for the person you think uh, was born in, on Mars or you, uh, <laughs> or you vote for Romney.